Hey everybody, this is Grinktus, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are playing as Lapland, and we recently just conquered some more of Norway. Alright, so let's get things all ready for us. We're coring a whole bunch of provinces. We have two, two provinces being constructed. We have a missionary um, conducting their missionary stuff. And we do have Norwegian separatists to be taken care of right now. Once that hits 70, I'm going to boost up these um, people back up, and we're going to have to take care of some revolts. Because right now we're not making that much, even though we got some things going on. Alright, so that's one place taken care of. So that's 1.5 years. Hopefully we can get this other core taken care of before that happens. And this missionary gets their act together and finishes up converting um, Lopland. Let's go ahead and move these guys over here just so that we can get this revolt taken care of. Almost done with the missionary and all that. How are we can't see how Sweden's relations with Novgorod is? Let's open up all these. Right now we have both diplomats doing some things um, with the Hansa and Novgorod. Would they go in for an alliance yet? No, they would not. And we can't have a royal marriage with them because they're a republic. But Lithuania is a vassal under Poland, so we can't do that. What about Poland, though? But they're... Okay... It wouldn't because of a lot of different reasons. Not primarily because of this. Well, this one, a lot of it has to do with navy and army, but also the distance is the primary reason. Um, let's just gain more legitimacy. Finish up with this core. How are we doing on technology? Getting close to um, finishing up technology. What about them? They have diplomatic technology increased. So we want to save this up for some technology. Okay, so these guys have 1.2 years. We better go ahead and um, boost this up, just in case. Alright, let's check this out. So it's point seven. Um, recall diplomat seven seven seven. This is five because we're already here. Taking another big loan.
Hey, right, let's. This missionary is almost done with. Our technology is almost there. We need 538. We've successfully converted those people. Okay. One less um, thing to deal with. It's still minus seven. They have a new monarch. They don't like us. Can we have a royal marriage with support heir? Support a member of our dynasty as heir to their throne. Oh, do we have a heir under them? What will this do? Um, let's do that. And we're improving relations with the Hansa. Let's um, repay that loan. Okay, so we can't do a royal marriage with the Hansa. Can we do a royal marriage with them? Minus 34, because of all those reasons. Can we do this with them? Let's stop that with them, and we'll improve relations with England. Is that what they're called right now? Yeah, they're called England still. So let's improve relations with England. All right, these guys are about to pop. 0.5 years. Um, I'm wondering if we could just... I'm thinking we could just handle the rebels. a disputed secession. Oh, not ours. Average. There we go. So these guys are about to pop. Any moment now they're gonna come forth. Let's hope it doesn't... Um, I'm just waiting for it to hurry up. I'm just hoping that it isn't a very large group. And they pop right here, so... Oh, and... Let's go ahead and unmothball this fort. Just in case. One month from now. There we go. Building up the garrison. Alright, so now we can go with a military technology. What is our diplomatic? We get the marketplace and trade range increase. But I'm going to increase production. Let's say increase production in these places. 
So, 78, increase production, increase production, Let's increase production there, and there. And we'll hold off on that. Okay. Which garrison does this have? 420. Alright. So instead of technology, we're just increasing the production. We want administrative technology more. For right now. Because we could always colonize through Norway and go through into Greenland and down through Canada and stuff. But the first idea group that we want is colonization. So first thing after this rebel faction happens is we want to build up a um, fleet of ships so that we can go invade Norway and oh, invade Iceland and then go into Greenland through colonization. So we got that, that, um, Alright, so we already are going to take care of that. How are we doing? Alright, so it looks like they're going to go down. Okay, and... Oh! What's this? Of royal marriage from Scotland, we accept. All right. So, what does this mean now? We have no legal heir, but that can we do a royal marriage? We can do a royal marriage with, um, what will this be? Let's repay that loan, repay that loan, extend that loan, okay. How are you doing over there in, um, Poland? Good harvest, um, let's... Put that in the treasury, because we need the money right now. What trade note? It's the North Sea, so... How is this Norwegian separatist doing? Okay. So, how many is this? It's just 7,000. That is mountains and mountains. What is their general? It's a 1, 2, 3, 0. What do they want? Um, they just want... Oh, if we, on siege, they do that, and if we if they enforce their demands, then we have give all those places to So we should try and do this. Let's see how we do. I'm not so sure we're going to do very well. Okay. Hopefully we do well.
Um, let's gain that. Okay, so we lost. But now they're down to 6,000. We have um, 6,000 troops to put them back in. Looks like they're just going to try and take that. Let's repay that. Let's send these guys back. We're going to need... How much... We're not doing very well. Why is that? We could go with another troop. Why is this? Reinforcements are costing us that much. Okay. So let's just go ahead and take a loan of 24. Let's go and have these guys be built. Alright, what kind of... It's a strong claim. Okay, so next time we won't have to worry about that. Worry about this kind of stuff. Um, let's repay that loan. Do we have... Let's spend these to boost that up. And... Okay. Bring these guys together. Once these recruits get put in, we're going to go back and take Aedsiva. Aedsiva. And see if we can get one of their group to come over and siege us. Or try and attack us. Okay, let's bring these guys together. And go over here. Because these are mountains, and if we're in these mountains and they try and attack us, then do they have two... yeah, they have two generals. So now we have 9,000, we're probably paying quite a bit. Not so much now. Okay. A royal marriage from Sweden. Let's do that. can't enforce their demands now because we took this province.
let's go ahead and see where... Well, I already looked at that before. Let's look at development. That's going to cost us quite a bit. Um, we want to improve shipbuilding time here. And... It's going to cost us quite a bit. Let's also improve this here. And we'll use our military points to our military power to go into technology. Pay that loan. So, if I went into this battle, would would they come in and join us? I don't think they're they're going to. Otherwise, they would already already have started moving over there. They only let's um, offer military access and let's see now. Will they? No, it doesn't seem like they will. So they're getting pretty high on their siege. I wish Norway would help out. Or Sweden would help out. Would you come and help us? No, you're not coming and help. Hmm. What is this? That's mountains too. So we gotta find out where they're gonna move next. They're probably not going to attack them because they're in mountains. Where is this? That's mountains too. It's forest. So wherever they move, they're going to go into mountains someplace. We gotta just figure out where they're gonna move next. Well, you guys, um, I think this is going to be a short episode, so make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Over and out.